What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, it is time for our weekly rules roundup from the lovely folks over at the Transformers Trading Card Game HQ, which I'm still assuming is what it's called. Bunch of fun stuff we got to get to this week, so let's have a start off having a look at Major Shockwave. Now, this was something we said we needed clarification of when we did our Major Shockwave video. It's got a skill when the top card of your deck is a Decepticon card or a secret action, you may play it as though it were in your hand. Which then, of course, led to the fairly obvious question of, well, what's a Decepticon card? Well, we have had confirmation, the faction symbols, as well as a different frame or treatment at the top and above the battle card text for each faction. Take Decepticon Crown, for instance. You can see the Decepticon symbol, you can see the different colouring around the top of the card, and of course around the upgrade utility, and that is what tells us that it is a Decepticon card. Now, Mounted Missiles was one of the ones I was lucky enough to be able to reveal from Wave 2. And Mounted Missiles reads, this can be in an armor or utility slot. Okay. It's a weapon, but it can be in an armor or a utility slot. What happens if Bashing Shield comes along? Now, Bashing Shield is an armor, and when you put it on a character, you may scrap an enemy armor. So what happens if you've got a Mounted Missiles, which is a weapon in the armor slot the answer is bashing shield cannot get rid of it it might be in the armor slot but it is still a weapon cool so this whole optimus prime battlefield legend we've got another question about him if you attack of optimus in bot mode and you flip swap missions and you elect to play it optimus untaps and my second bot taps what happens next I argued Optimus was still the attacker, even though he's untapped, so combat with him should proceed. My opponent argued that the other bot was now the attacker, since only a tapped bot can attack. And the answer is, the first suggestion is correct, i.e., Optimus is still the attacker, even though he's untapped. And although it doesn't say this in the rules roundup, as far as I am concerned, the explanation goes like this. The attacker isn't the tapped bot, the attacker is Optimus Prime. Generally speaking, the downside of attacking is that you have to tap. But just because you end up untapped doesn't mean you're not attacking. It just means you're attacking, but you get to attack again later. Yay! Peace Through Tyranny. Now, Peace Through Tyranny is a card that's come up, I mean, in that swap parts deck, if nothing else. You may KO one of your characters that has six stars or more, and then you may take an extra turn after this one. Okay. What happens if you play it, your opponent has no untapped characters? Do we untap everyone, my turn ends, and then I get the next turn? Yes. If there are no tapped characters on the field, that's you and your opponent, then everybody untaps and you go to the next turn. Generally speaking, if you were the last person to attack, everybody untaps and then it's your opponent's turn but because you played peace through tyranny you get the next turn so even though you just attacked there are no untapped characters so everybody untaps oh look it's your turn because you played peace through tyranny it's another one of those that just follows the official rules have a look is everybody tapped yes then before the next turn starts you untap everyone jobs are good and this is, of course, different to the rule we looked at the other day. If your opponent still has untapped characters, but all of yours are tapped, then you still do get another turn, but you're not untapping because your opponent isn't, and all your characters are tapped. So although you get another turn, you don't have any untapped characters with which to attack. Now, we looked at black icons this week. They were revealed. Erratic Energy Grenade is the one that really excites me. And what's weird about black icons is that if you're attacking twice in the same turn, blur would be a great example of this. Then the pierce you get from black icons, as a side note, every black icon you flip gives you pierce one for that attack, but it actually stays around. So if blur is attacking twice, you can flip two black icons on the first attack, but you'll still get the pierce two for the second attack as well. So that has led some people to go, well, hang on a second. Does that mean that blue and orange icons that I flip while attacking or defending stay around if there is a second attack in the same turn? The answer is no. 
The longer answer is black icons are special. Orange and blue can only be used in the battle in which they were flipped, whereas black icons carry on for the turn in which they were flipped. Cool. Now, let's have a quick look at Optimus Maximus. We had a look at a rule a few weeks ago that said that if a character uses an ability that grants them a skill, say bold, tough, pierce, whatever it is, and then combines into a combiner, the combiner keeps the skill. All right. Well, how about you've got three Sentinels in play and you use Ironhide Steadfast Brawler? So when you flip into your Ironhide in the KO area into bot mode, each of your characters gets pierced two until end of turn. So you flip Ironhide to bot mode in the KO area. You have got three bots in play on your battlefield. They all now get pierced two. If you then drop a Sentinel Enigma, that same turn, you end up with Optimus Maximus. So what happens, because you've got three characters, all of which have PS2, they all take their skill over, and the lovely Ironhide has actually granted you PS6. Yes, yeah, time to start loving Ironhide, because that's really, really cool. And then we get to another question about Debilitating Crystal. Debilitating Crystal is an upgrade utility that reads, when the upgraded character attacks, Return one of the defending character's upgrade to the owner's hand. So what about Security Console then? Security Console is one of these cards from Wave 2. When the upgraded character defends, draw a card and then plan one. So what happens? Does Debilitating Crystal bounce Security Console before it can be used? Or does Security Console get used and then bounced? And the answer is, choosing the attacker and which character is attacking is a single step. You've then got abilities of the attacker, which happen, followed by abilities of the defender. In your scenario, Debilitating Crystal would not bounce Security Console before it triggers. Hunger Down, one of my favourite cards. Well, wave one at least. It's a great little card that flips all of your characters that have a tank mode, into tank mode and then you get to pop an armor from the scrap pile onto each of those tanks okay but what about megatron living weapon you see megatron living weapon has a great skill in bot mode that says you can pop a weapon into its armor and or utility slots and the question is what if you've got a weapon in your armor slot and you play a hunker down do you have to pop an armor in that weapon slot and the answer is yes. And we need go no further than the wording of Hunker Down. Flip each of your characters from bot mode to tank mode. Then for each of your tanks that isn't upgraded with an armor, put an armor on it from the scrap pile. These are all orders. They're statements. They're not you may or if you wish or any of that. It's essentially you have to. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that's not ideal. Sorry, but it's another choice to make. If you've got a weapon on Megatron Living Weapon and it's in your armor slot and you really don't want to get rid of it, then really don't play Hunker Down. Sorry. Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend. He keeps coming up, ladies and gentlemen. He keeps coming up. He attacks with Power Punch. Now, Power Punch is one of these Wave 2 cards and it just gives you Bold Free. But after you attack, you scrap the card. But then you flip over swap parts. And you move all upgrades to another character. Does it destroy itself? Does it go to the scrap pile? And the question here would actually be exactly the same for Grenade Launcher as well. That gives you plus four attack and falls off at the end of the attack. But of course, you're using Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend skill here to play a swap part after you flip for attacking, at which point the attack incidentally has been calculated so you wouldn't lose the bonus because you use the action after you flipped. And it is made very clear on the card. After you flip battle cards for your attack and before the defense flips, you may play one of the actions you flipped. So you don't lose the bonus. 
Well, one of the actions is swap parts, so now all of a sudden you're popping this upgrade onto another character. And the answer very simply is no. You don't lose them. Because again, if we look at what the cards say very literally, Power Punch says, after the upgraded character attacks, scrap this card. Well, the attack hasn't finished. So when the attack finishes, you look, oh, it's not there anymore. It's been swapped parted away. Similarly, if we have a look at Grenade Launcher after you attack, scrap the card. But after the attack finishes, you have a look and Grenade Launcher's not there anymore. The good news is this is a really great way to take advantage of things like Grenade Launcher or Power Punch without having to scrap them. The bad news is this past week's swap parts was banned from official tournaments for essentially being broken. So although this would be a great use of swap parts, no. Because unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, it don't work. It don't work. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the official rulings that you need to know about for this week. There were a couple others that were asked, but they are just repeats of ones we've previously gone through. So I don't think we need to go through them again. That's all you need to know but if there is anything else you'd need to know you know there is a comment section or maybe you want to ask me questions tell me what you had for breakfast tell me your pet's first name either way comment section's got your back go nuts ladies and gentlemen but please do remember the rule be nice would you and then make sure you like this video subscribe to this channel and follow me on twitter at the wossy where we talk about games like transformers but also a whole bunch of others but by far the most important thing as always Look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.